appears to be coming into a conscious state. Hello. Look here. Perfect. Questions, questions, I'm sure you have many. Now you might be feeling rather confused or delirious. Rest assured, you're perfectly fine. You're simply coming out of a sort of cryosleep stasis. Right. So... It's going to take you a while until you feel completely lucid now. I am Dr. Z, and I have been put in charge of your care for quite some time now. We have been doing great work together, but I did need to pull you into a conscious state as I am finished with the work that I was doing on you while you were unconscious now. As you can see, um, it would be quite impossible for you to run away. Mm -hmm. Well, these have been put in place for my safety and yours. You may not have any memories of who you are, and who you are, rather who you are, is unimportant. What matters now is simply the future. See, this is your case file. Your case number X3 I4 I59. You are a prisoner of the state. You committed heinous crimes during your previous human existence. And as part of your punishment, you are placed into the new innovative program known as Darcy, which I, along with other extremely proficient doctors and scientists, are in charge of taking criminals such as yourself and using you and bringing you to your full potential. So you are in the process of becoming a fully functioning cyborg. If you take a look down at some of your features, such as your arms, you might notice that they are no longer of the human sort. I myself have some cybernetic features. So although I am human, I am blessed with some sensory abilities that I can activate through this external chip here. Now you were given very fair, fair trial to be part of this program. As you simply could have just spent the rest of your existence rotting in jail. But instead, you get to become the future. Dedicated dedicated yourself to science. Now this will not clear away all those terrible crimes you committed as your previous self, but luckily for you, you can't remember any of that because I have wiped away your previous memories and consciousness in order to give you a humble and fresh new beginning. So. Well, I do have evidence in here, in your file. I don't think you want to see that, though, do you? Really? All right, well, if you really want to see who you were 
in your past life, so to speak. You've done this numerous times, and of course I could have to just wipe this all away, but uh, I'm feeling patient today, so. This might trigger memories that have been Wiped away. Only temporarily, though. This was just one of your most recent victims. That trigger in your memory. Every time I tell you, you're not going to like this. And every time you accuse me of making this all up. These were some of their belongings. I don't think we need to go through any more photographs. I'm sure it's all come back to you now. Let me guess. You want to forget about it. Okay. Well, you'll have to give me a moment for that. Mm -hmm. So today will be very exciting. As I finish modifying and recalibrating your programming, You'll be in the final stages. Of this project. And. We'll be sent. On a very important mission. To space. We'll be sending you to. Um, a new colony. That was just discovered. And you will be. Put to work there. Or whatever needs the um, captain of the mission deems fit. So instead of spending your days rotting away in prison on Earth, you get to travel to outer space a new colony and give back to society after the damage that you have implemented. So let's go ahead and wipe away those memories that were triggered from seeing the photographs of your victims. Look here. I'm going to see a light. One, two, three. Parched. I would offer you this lovely bit of um, seltzer water, but since you're a cyborg now, you have no need for refreshments. Or food anymore. Ah, oh, that's good. Good stuff. First, I'm going to check your synthetic heart. Since you've been in cryo sleep for so long, your synthetic biological functions might not be operating at their intended speed and function and be functioning efficiently 
but after you've been awake for some time, we'll do a full scan to see that everything is operating cohesively. Sit still. Good. And the other heart is right here in your throat. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Those appear to be functioning. cranial area. But first I'll just need to remove your outer plating. So. You shouldn't feel any pain because your pain receptors are off. liquid mass is going to absorb right in to finalize your programming. It's activated as that beautiful. be 
feeling a slight tingling sensation in that area. Perhaps a warming sensation. Maybe normal. Just apply this. It's going to help this area to heal now. measurements here and make sure I don't want to do any more modifications to your outer wear before we send you off to space here. fun part, the Symposium Cortex Programming. Look here. Now what I'm going to be doing is downloading a brand new personality into your neural cortex because at the moment we are working with a completely blank um, canvas so to speak since I have um, already pretty much wiped away your previous original identity. Mm -hmm. So all your cybernetic features are in proper order. I've just made the modification to your neural chip. So everything should be running cohesively. But except the final ta-da, which is giving you that new identity. Let me just spray this on here. It's just not healing as quickly as I need it to be. Spray is going to help that. to be quite relaxing. Mm -hmm. Not every moment needs to be a punishment for you as, you know, new start, new chances, new you. Really, that awful human version of you has been pretty much wiped away, as I said. So, on to the better AI version of here. 
Look here again. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to have you focus on these pretty lights, which are going to connect to my system to infiltrate that brand new you for your mission to speak. is just look into the pretty lights good This will just take a few minutes to process. Good, focus there, in here, perfect. I need to do a scan now. This first will scan to make sure that your biochemicals are at their proper ratio. and that your energy levels aren't excessively low or too high. I need you at a pretty neutral point. I'm just gonna scan you now, okay. Just sit still if you can, thank you. Be able to 
contact as well. And if we were detecting you are radioactive, so to speak, then this device would change into a color red, implying caution. Everything appears to be in order. And it appears that surgical work we did to your neural implant is healing very well. I'll need you just to focus here. Thank you. Good. And again. Sticks on that. Everything went successfully. Your new programming has been installed and we won't have to be doing any more work on your neural chip or any of your cybernetic features. Your health scan came back positive. All right. 
tiny. So now let me just log in our work today before I send you off to Space Station 0.52.82.30M slash O98. I know it's a mouthful, isn't it? So I'll be putting you back into sleep mode and you'll be escorted along with others like yourself won't be reactivated until you are aboard the ship and safety measures have been put in place. This is for the best for yourself, for the state, for all human and cyborg kind. Mode. Just take a second, look right into the light. 